Hello everyone. In this video tutorial, I would like to share how to use my Looker Studio template to visualize the data from Google Ad search campaigns. Uh, I decided to create this template because I found that the native tools inside Google Ads, like Report Editor and Dashboards, they are too limited. And Looker Studio helps to visualize this data much better. So the report consists of six pages and the first one is the general dashboard. Here I place uh, all core metrics and their dynamics. Google Ads connector and calendar uh, set up on the um, report level. So when you change it on any page, they automatically will apply to all other pages. pages. And uh, yeah, the filters that you see above the charts, they are specific for each page, yeah. They're not uh, report, uh, uh, not set up on the report level. So, because a different type of dimensions need different uh, uh, different filters. So, the first general dashboard, yeah, we have three main tabs, it's like conversions, money, and competition. And then we have the section with uh, like dynamics of these metrics where you can investigate uh, how they change and yeah and then we have the competition uh, metrics like here you can see how the share of uh, search impression uh, lost due to budget reasons and due to rank reasons yeah and for example here i changed the increased the my auction bids and now i have more search impressions search impression share and uh, like i lost less due to the rank issues uh, then uh, and see, here you see the search impression of your competitors yeah it's also very um, convenient to measure it then uh, we have the table with the uh, the sorted by date yeah uh, it's like the last search terms with impressions, clicks, and conversions. The main idea of this table is that uh, you can quickly see what the last impressions you got. You got, yeah. Uh, it's in, uh, especially important when you uh, publish a new campaign, made some changes in your campaigns, uh, ads, ad groups, etc., because you can quickly see uh, how it works. If is everything okay and so on. Even if you are like running a new campaign, you should understand is everything okay? Is campaign starting uh, to generate impressions and by which keywords and so on. Yeah. So this table helps to do that. And then we have three, uh, three tables where we can measure the performance by day, by week, and by month. Yeah. And I like the, I like to implement this type of conditional um, formatting of the columns because it helps to quickly uh, find some uh, patterns in the data yeah when you uh, see some increase in your metrics or decrease and so you can like quickly uh, like your eyes capture some uh, peaks in the data and you can investigate what's happened there yeah so this like the general dashboard then we have uh, like uh, uh, five very similar dashboard all of them like built around uh, some dimensions. For example, this one is campaign insights. So we have the table uh, with uh, each campaign and its values. Yeah, you also can uh, uh, filter campaigns by type, by state, by uh, country, search term, final URL, etc. And then like we have the st st static table yeah and we have the dynamic and the share of different uh, campaigns in total impressions then we have the pivot table like it's like the similar to this one uh, but in this type of data you can uh, get uh, data for more uh, campaigns because if you in the chart you can view just 15 or 20 here you can uh, see all campaigns or any other dimension. And then you see scatter charts. Uh, these charts helps to 
visualize data in this way that you can uh, divide campaigns, keywords, uh, URLs into different sections and understand which one better. It's like the better, uh, much easier way to uh, visualize um, some insights, yeah? And for example, we have campaigns and here in the X axis, we have the count of conversions and in Y axis, we have the cost per conversion. And it means that at the right and above, all values are the most, um, the, uh, the most desirable Valuables, yeah, because for example, the campaign with homepage and brand keywords has many conversions and has the the, um, the most uh, cheap uh, cost per uh, conversion, yeah. So using these insights, you can quickly identify best and the worst uh, campaigns, uh, keywords, URLs, countries, etc. Then yeah, the same for the search keyword. Uh, but additionally, in the search keyword, you have the table with keyword, table and scatter chart with keyword quality score, which one of the most important uh, variables in your each keyword has. Yeah, and the variable you would like to has an impact you would like to increase for each keyword. Yeah, for example, here you see that like brand keywords has the best value here also. And there are some that we would like, for example, uh, keywords that has a good, um, a good amount of impressions, but has too low quality score. That means that I really need to work on it to improve that. Then the search term insights, just uh, mm, uh, remember that search keywords is uh, the Keyword you set up to show uh, your key, uh, to show uh, some uh, ads and search term is what really users type when they search for ads. Yeah. So here is the same. Yeah, the same scatter chart, the same pivot table, the same dynamic charts and table. Mm. And final URL. In final URL we have the additional table this table with final url and all search terms it has it helps to group uh, all keywords by urls and um, visualize data in much in much easier way than uh, by default when you see only urls or only search terms yeah and country sites there are the same tables yeah but applied to countries. And again, uh, for example, for United States, I have uh, the best, uh, like the biggest amount of impressions, but uh, the worst average cost per click. So I should look for ways how to decrease that. And yeah, so it's very easy. Uh, this is very easy report. And when you will buy and co uh, copy it, you can expand it with your own charts. You also can copy the existing pages and like try to apply the existing charts just to another dimensions. And yeah, it will be much easier for you just to do that and then create a new template from the scratch. Yeah, so, and you can work with this template with, we are two different ways. The first one, you just uh, buy the template and start it using your properties, uh, like connecting, using the native connector in the template. The other one, you like just click make a copy and you became the owner of the template and you will be able to edit it uh, as you want. So that's all, if you have any questions, I will be glad to, to answer them.